Hey guys, what's going on? DuffKing56 here, back to continue our Let's Play of Yakuza Kiwami. Welcome, welcome back. If you remember, we had some things to do today. However, yesterday, I just wanted to remind you what we accomplished, because I would say it is quite a bit. We actually completely maxed out the affection level for Yui over at the jewels so i think that was pretty cool as you can see as our aritatsu mizuno dude is saying one of the special girls over there is rena chan and the shine she is the other girl that we have yet to max out and unfortunately she also will be clashing with our main story quest so as of right now i i sort of like made this decision on on a whim but i wanted to just sort of make a decision and stick to it as far as like how everything has gone so far but I wanted to go to the arcade and just show off some of the different games at the arcade you can play as well as the photo booth and then outside of that the only other thing I wanted to do on the map before I got back to the main story is go and visit the erotic video store which is uh, somewhere here where is it it's north right isn't it it's like one of these streets uh, some reason I'm like, oh wait, it's gotta be like right there, the beam, the adult video store. So actually since it's right over here, I wanted to go visit that um, because we paid 20, 20 or 50,000 yen to go and check out some secret shit that they got going on here. So I believe there's a black market or something of that. Oh my, okay, well, this is uh, definitely uh, interesting for sure. But apparently they have some backroom shit going on here, so I wanted to go and see that before I did anything else here. Yes, okay, they have a bunch of other things here. So I believe we wanted to say housewives in a bind, right? Is that the thing that we wanted to get here? Right? Is that the, the secret thing? If not, then we're going to be... Yeah, okay, perfect. Holy crap. All right, take a look at <laughs> the black market that we just found. Okay, they're going to have some goodies here for us. Probably a bunch of goodies that we can't even... Uh, get or care about too much right now our super spicy knife is still here which is really nice but I'm not really looking to buy any weapons or anything like that as you can see there's only one car part here so I'm kind of disappointed about that it really is unfortunate but we're gonna buy the motor that we were missing and be done with things here so I'm glad that I took that off of our list of things to do uh, we can probably come back and look for adult videos later but I after what happened last episode, by surprise, I don't think I want to be doing that just right this second. However, we will go to the arcade, check out the photo booth, which a commenter made sure to let me know that there is a surprise waiting for me there, especially if I'm alone. So thank you, Gen Zero X, for that reminder, uh, as well as other games I just wanted to play in general at the sega club just to show them off of course show you how bad i am at some retro games wouldn't that be fun but there like really isn't that's much more stuff left for, for us to do before we continue on so i can like happily say that i'm rather excited about the prospects of that i also want to rank majima up to rank s so that's definitely something that we can have some fun doing as well i believe we're actually really close to the s ranking i really like the only thing i need that uh, I haven't done yet is rank myself up to uh, um, the fourth combo uh, in the Dragon of Dojima fighting style by getting uh, one of the Majima uh, checkpoints, I guess, if uh, if you can call it that. But anyways, Majima is actually over here, so I'm going to need to fight him so we can get closer to that S ranking since we are that close. He is Brawler Majima, and it would be good to just get some skills from him here. And since we haven't fought him in forever, I'm feeling, you know, honestly, I'm feeling the itch. And that's, uh, more fun for me. Shit. I need to time this better. Oh, no. Crap. Was that the correct combo, or do I need to be in heat, mo heat mode for that? I don't know. Either way, we're still gonna... I'm gonna try to do the counter on him. Come on. There we go. It was, like, kind of a counter. We got a block off there, but we're really not going to waste any much more time messing around with him here. We're just going to block and have ourselves a party. Thank you for the free heat, Majima. And of course, the accidental block break that we always somehow finagle ourselves into. It's fine with me, though. We're doing some pretty good damage on him. Crap, I like, broke my block for a really quick second. Of course, I paid for it. 
Ooh, get ourselves a counter hit. We don't do that very often anymore. I should be more careful with that, huh? Surprised he didn't go into his fourth combo mode where he just does like a mini flurry of punches. Oh, we're so close to getting our blocks in, but he does a really good job of escaping our shit here. There we go. We'll get our licks in. He's going to eventually go into a heat mode. Oh, he's also staggered. There we go. We're not going to let him get much more health back here. As you can see, we're doing a really good amount of damage with this move. Uh, I have to say, I'm rather impressed by that. Let's actually switch to our heavy and get some grab. Oh, okay. He doesn't want to be on that shit. That's fine with me. Perfect. I didn't want to do the block break, but once again, isn't much we can do when he throws his block up in the middle of a combo for us here. Nice backstep. Got him like kind of mini stagger there. I really like that. God damn it, man. You can't just heal your health back like that. This has been a rather easy Majima fight. I don't know why. Maybe I've just ascended into a new level of humanity. I've like achieved Yakuza Nirvana. But then again, his thug mode isn't that difficult. Perfect. Beautiful. Easy smacks right there. Kind of surprised at you, Majima. I think you've been losing a little bit of pep in your step, man. Then again, we did best you with every single challenge that we've had so far. Very nice. As you can see, we're very close to rank us, so I don't mind taking a detour here and there to fight the big old Majima. Let's head over to the Sega Club, though, and go and have some fun. Some more downtime. I know there's been a lot of downtime between story, but I'm sure it'll be worth it because eventually we're going to be getting to a point of no return per se. As in, we ain't turning this bus around. We're going to do story because we're pumped. So let's see what we have here. It looks like Blast City. Is this like a fighting game that we can't play? It seems like it. Okay, what can we play over here? Is it just a Mezuking place? Can we not actually play games at this arcade? Uh, probably we can only play Mezu King, as well as the claw game here. So we're going to go to the photo booth to get the surprise, of course. But then we'll actually actually go to the other arcade and we'll be much better probably at playing the old time games here. Let's take some photos since we haven't done that before. And see what kind of photos we can get. I believe this is like a... Yeah, you select a pose um, and as long as you select... A photo where you take like a good picture then you're good to go I don't know if we're going to get a uh, whatchamacallit here let's just pick this one here pick these three frames hopefully there's a tutorial or something I don't really know okay. oh it's timing based okay is that any good? That was like an okay pose, I guess. Let's see if we can miss this one straight up. Not bad. So it's all just based on timing. And you wait to select the pose, as you can see. There's, there's like no tutorial given to us here. Probably selected the wrong one here, so we're going to get points off. I didn't realize there would be no confirmation screen here. I just wanted to like zoom them in here. But that's okay. Let's go back into the photo booth and try it again here. Try a different uh, pose. We'll still pick similar frames. So we picked that one first. Actually, I don't want this one. Well, I guess I've. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, that's what we want. Oh my gosh, really? It defaults to change. How stupid am I, right? Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna do pose two. F actually, we'll do pose three, four, and X. 3, 4, and 1 is what I meant to say. Okay, come on. Perfect. So we get 10 best shots. Okay, so it's a CP-based pose thing here. I guess that was like a bad pose. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. That's okay. Interesting timing here. I'm going to take this one because it just looks so nice. And it's a perfect shot with a contrasting humorous frame, so... 
interesting <laughs> photos to say the least. I, I, uh, I guess I could say. Okay, so we got some photos done. Uh, apparently, we probably missed a window of um, some sort of surprise, and there's. I have no problem with that. I actually want to go and play some games though, for sure. So we're going to head to the other arcade, which is just north of Theater Square, if I am correct. So let's just run there. And hopefully we can play some like outrun some some of the old stuff that you guys saw me see in the other let's play uh, after I have <laughs> since mastered them to get the CP challenges done for those so I'm actually rather happy at the progress I made in those games but I guarantee you I'm so rusty and I haven't played them in forever that I'm gonna suck at them horribly so the only way to find out right of course is to try so let's head to this whoa Majima? Is that you? Who dat? Is this an ambush? Okay, cool. I'm actually rather happy about that. Because now we have a reason. Actually, let's switch to Dragon of Dojima. And, uh... Get some heat on him this way. So we have, like, a bunch of meter to burn him. So I say, why the hell not? We can always get meter in rush mode. Ooh, I thought I dodged again. That was bad of me, huh? This guy wants to... Whatchamacallit? Taunt me is what I meant to say. There we go. Beautiful. Getting a little bit zealous here. A little greedy. There we go. He likes the behind-the-back stuff. Come at me, Majima. Come on. You haven't learned your lesson, have you? That's okay. We're going to get that rank S with him soon. Probably at the beginning of next episode, then, which will be good. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> we got to get in there. There we go. Okay. Probably going to get rid of most of the health that he healed back, and we're going to be back to one bar of HP, so we can be happy about that. Honestly, like, easy peasy. Uh, I want some breaker Majima, some difficult Majima, but that's okay. He's got a heat move uh, tailored up here, so we have to be very careful. I'm so glad that your heat doesn't decay in this game. Because it would be much more of a problem for me here. Because he doesn't want to attack. What's wrong with you, Majima? What's going on, bud? I was trying to get in behind him to do the heat move. There we go. Oh, we haven't gotten one of these in a while. Actually, I don't think we ever got one against Majima like that, so... I'll take what he gives me in that regard, but I have a feeling he's going to go into heat heal mode in a second, yeah. That's actually very unfortunate on our part. He actually healed back quite a bit there. We were not ready because we expended a heat move. Foolishly. I'm trying to get behind him again to do some fun stuff that I unlocked, but clearly I'm just that unlucky. Come at me, brother. I'm just, like... I feel so lucky that I get to fight against Majima. He's always an interesting opponent, and he's always funny, of course. Oh shit, we were like gonna get stuck there, I noticed. Come on, man! There we go. Well, it wasn't quite the heat move I was looking for, but that's okay. We beat him up all the same, and we actually haven't lost that much health, which is good. It means our defense is nice and high. <laughs> There we go. Surprise attack worked. Got some CP for that. Some more Majima experience. We're going to be really close to rank S. Perfect. Okay. Well, maybe we can do that in this episode as a way for me to say sorry for like dragging you around to a bunch of different places. And the photo booth wasn't as fruitful as I thought it was going to be, so I apologize for that, of course. Okay, why can't I play any of these arcade games? Can I actually not play games in the arcade? Was I hyping this up for nothing? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, everybody. Uh, my apologies. Let's, um, can we talk to this guy? Oh, no, okay. 
I was say, that's kind of weird. Let's go back to the photo booth and see if we can proc something from this photo booth compared to the other photo booth at the other Sega Club. Now, maybe we're going to get our surprise from this one. I don't know. Let's uh, go for these frames. And we'll try the beginning pose to get that one right this time. Shit. That was really bad, huh? It's okay. We can wait and get more of like a perfect one pose because we got a bad one pose before. It's interesting. It seems like uh, we're not getting perfect on that. There we go. A perfect X one there. So I think I'm still going to take our middle photo, even though it was a bit more on the lackluster side. A nice confident look from Kiryu playing Mezu King, which is always good. So let's throw that in our photo album. And once we get Haruka too, we can come back here and do more of the photo booth fun here. Unfortunately though, I, I thought we could play games in the arcade. I'm really sorry about that, guys. I, I almost feel like... No, I, I don't almost feel terrible. I do feel terrible for sort of saving this, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have been just, like, yelling at me internally about this thing. Let's actually talk to the info guy here. Kiryu no danna. Kiryu san. Oh, Tamura ni aoki ka. Tsui ni aeta ka. Hai. Iro iro to hanashi o kiite mashita. Kiryu san. Rei te te yu no wa kono koto datta n desu ne. Ah. Demo yo katta na.田村が生きてて。はい。キリュウさんのおかげでこうしてタムラさんにも会えて。またいろんな話が聞けますよ。これでしばらく Oh, that's a nice little ending, like, mini-story that doesn't have any sort of, like, item significance for us. And it's nice that they can meet up again, because we were supposed to be mum about that. For a second I thought they'd disappear, and I was like, oh man, that's really spooky, but... Uh, thankfully I was wrong. Now, I guess, like, the only thing left for us to do besides possibly grinding more Mezuking training is going to... Aha! That's what I wanted. I wanted to call for Majima about the next rank here. Nishida is calling. So we ride in taxis. Is there a taxi driver? Oh, very interesting. Nishida wants to ride a cab. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, clearly there's a bunch of green arrows around here. So clearly there is going to be a Majima battle to be had. So let's order some alcohol and some more food because now we can order everything on the menu that we wanted. <laughs> And we want to heal up, of course. Being a little drunk is just fine, man. We're going to fight Majima. We have to be careful about these things. We actually have quite a bit of ability points, so before I hop into a cab and trigger this Majima rank fight, we're going to enjoy ourselves by ranking up the rest of our combat skills. Now, I don't think I can finish it. I might be a couple of skill points short. Why am I missing all these Mezuken cards, man? This is crazy. We're getting some good technique cards, though, so eventually we'll be able to employ those as we go but let's drain our cp drain our ability points and then fight us some majima for the next rank because that'll be fun right i mean leave fun for me can't carry any more items oh, crap we keep forgetting to put the actual items that we want away in the item boxes but that's okay let's go into our abilities here and finish our rankings yeah as you can see i have six and three so unfortunately i won't be able to complete it completely but I think I'll be able to get... Actually, I might be just close enough here. Yeah, I'm missing one in the soul because I can't read or see anything. Yeah, okay, we're going to be short by three-ish. So actually, I think after beating this upcoming Majima, we'll have a good shot at having ourselves a good time and further maxing out our skills, which will be an achievement nonetheless. So let's hop in this taxi and get ourselves a Majima rank-up fight. 660, man. Let's see, where do we want to go? We want to go close to karaoke, so let's just take a nice cab over to Pink Street. Just let me in, please. Oh, 
We fell for it. We fell for it, everybody. Is he going to take us to the pier to fight or something like that? I think that would be kind of a cool detour to have. Oh, boy. I was right. I'm actually really happy about this. Very, very scary. <laughs> okay, you no need to act confused. We all know exactly who is going to be driving you to this place here. Now, I wonder if Taxi Majima was sort of thrown in as a callback to Yakuza 5. Before somebody tries to to get this, I'm going to try to beat you to the punch on the comments. Uh, Kiryu has a job as a taxi driver in Yakuza 5, and you get to drive people around and stuff. So this would be kind of a cool callback slash reference. I know Majima's the taxi cab driver, but uh, and Kiryu had the job in Yakuza 5, but it would be a really nice little... I mean, it's kind of a reach, right? But it's still pretty cool. <laughs> but that's okay here. I'm really glad that we're going to have to fight us some Majima just to rank up here to rank S. I have to say, I think I've done pretty well so far. I know there's a lot of grinding left for us to get here, but we get to fight against Knife Majima, which is an actual treat, mind you. Actually, let's do this. He's got full health bars now. We have uh, everything to fear and nothing to lose as always, but... Actually, we have to be very careful here. Let's see if we can get our grabs off. Okay, he doesn't like grabs. That's something we knew pretty well, actually. Actually, what if we can get him up against the wall here? That's exactly what we wanted to do. Actually, come this way. Oh, wow. Okay. That stab hurts really bad, of course. And, of course, the taunt hurts as well. I just want to get him up against the wall here. It doesn't work as well as I thought it would, but hey, it is what it is, right? Now we can do it. Come at me. Okay. Everything hurts. Majima hurts. Just have to remember that. Let's break him off the wall just a tiny bit here. That kind of worked, but he's like way too fast for me right now. Come at You actually have to like come at me though that worked actually okay so now he's up against the wall I always want to do like the arm break shit he's too far away I can't like break him the way that I wanted to break him there we go I wanted to try to get a heat move as well we haven't done any fun stuff like that in a while actually I don't think I've actually shown that he move uh, in this playthrough so that's cool that was actually really close It's actually really hard to get him still, but... You basically have to bait him into attacking. So he tries to dodge you, which is like kind of weird, if you ask me. There we go. We're just kind of falling into the trap here. We have to make sure we're a bit tighter on our dodges, I think. Maybe even Weave would be better to use here instead of just the straight-up dodge. There we go. That worked kind of, right? I thought we would get an attack there, but Q, you never locked on. I was holding the right bumper, I swear. Come on, Majima. There we go. Oh crap, we don't have like heat move and shit. Can we get a grab? Ooh, actually we can get a heat move here. I thought maybe I could just uh, cheat the timing against the wall there, but unfortunately I was not that lucky. There we go, okay. Back in business here. Majima being a little bit dirty using the knife, but then again, it is his... His specialty, right? He is the mad dog, after all. But you're gonna have to actually... There we go. Well, that worked pretty well. We didn't quite get the heat move that we wanted there. And we got locked into a attack. There we go. 
Finishing blows are so nice on Majima. They do such good damage. There we go. I wonder when he's going to wind up again. It's been a while. I actually have a plan. Let me try something next time he goes into heal mode. I have a plan. Oh, there's health I'm missing over here. Fuck that shit. I'm just going to grab it. <laughs> Thank you for the stamina and double X's here. I will take one just for fun. I don't feel like I need it in this fight, but... It's nice to use an item once you get it to, like, top you off. There we go. Give me that finishing blow. There we go. Loop on some finishing blows. There we go. That's the good stuff. He's gonna heal in a second. I can... I can feel it. Just gotta keep dodging those stabs. Ooh, he dodged that. That's... that's a little bit shifty there, Majima. I should know better, though. He is a tricky... tricky customer. We're dealing with the Lord of the Light... the Lord of the Night. Oh my gosh. Mixing up my words because I'm engaging in a solid battle of wits. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's try this. Take out an item. Get ourselves a heat move here. Because it's free. Oh, God, we did a ton of damage there. It's exactly what we wanted. Uh, we unfortunately couldn't get a grab off, but that's also not that surprising in retrospect. So, the item tech works to get your guaranteed dragon move. Should finish him here. There it is. Quick jab from behind. Another victory with Majima. Another rank up. There we go. One win against Mad Dog Majima. I wonder if you only unlock him in rank fights past rank A. That would make sense if you want to get those completion points, because we like we've walked all around the city and we haven't found them yet. So we're getting there, as you can see. We're getting some props from the Majima man himself. And thank you very much for the ride home. I wonder if he's actually going to take me to my destination. I know I still paid him 660 yen, but that probably was the most polite thing that we could do. Damn it. Okay, so unfortunately... <laughs> We didn't get to our destination, but that's okay. We learned some mastery, which is like kind of so-so. I don't really care much for fighting with weapons in this game, but that's okay. Let's go and throw some items in the item box so we can go and redeem our completion points before I go crazy and uh, start to uh, start thinking that I'm like losing my mind here because we've been trying to redeem these points for the past like. 50 million years and I keep not thinking about it so that's that's on me right okay so we can probably put away the binding probably don't need probably don't need this stuff or mm, the coin locker key thing we could probably use but just we don't really quite need it right now let's do that because there's only probably a couple items that we need to get for the completion points. We don't have that many left. We have like 22 and I think we need like 15 to get the next three items. So I'll be happy getting the next two items and then going from there. There's still plenty of stuff to do on the map for us. We can go into restaurants if we want a quick couple of points, but really trust me, I'm not too worried about this right now. I'm more interested in just trading these guys in and getting ourselves into the next part of what we're going to do here. Let's actually check what the dragon shirt will do for us because I don't actually I'm not familiar with that item so let's see just what the shirt can do for us here it's got a ton of stuff here holy crap it increases elemental resistance and gained experience its stats are simply astounding and let me tell you something that is actually pretty pretty astounding if you ask me we're still wearing that stuff from the rank up quest which I didn't actually realize so we we're not min-maxing correctly. We could have gotten a lot more utility out of the last bunch of fights, but that's okay. I will catch you guys in the next episode where we will be doing some really, really, really super short stuff before we get into the main story. This has been DuffKing56 with another episode of my Yakuza Kiwami Let's Play. I will catch you guys next time. Peace out and bye bye